Hey there, what's going on YouTube? Variant here, trying to uh, do an ABX test. Uh, one of the people on YouTube uh, is basically saying that you can't actually tell the difference between a 16-bit and a 24-bit audio file. Um, or it may have been somebody that commented on another video that somebody else did that I commented on that I actually, you know, got the idea to uh, do the ABX tests and I grabbed these files, I grabbed only three. I did one in the original ABX test that I did. It was pretty hard to tell the difference between the uh, high resolution sound and the low resolution sound, but it was also a difference between bit depths, sampling frequencies, and a completely different file canister. So what this guy was saying is if that you keep, if you keep the platform the same, or the format, you know, um, the same, and you keep the sample frequency the same, and you just change the bit depth, so you're not going to be able to tell the difference. I basically claimed that scientifically there should be a difference between the two files, so we'll just leave it at that. And I was able to scientifically deduce that there is a difference between the two files. Well, here's the kicker, though. In order to get this difference, there's this gain option, this normalization option that I checked here. This is how loud the file had to be, you know, we had to crank up the volume a whole 69.3 decibels to get this sound here. To get that sound, that's what we needed to do. Of course, without normalization, it is completely impossible to hear this static and it is completely and totally unrelated to the audio itself um, the audio in the files that you would be able to uh, listen to so um, yeah there is no rhythm there is no instrument noise, there's nothing. It is completely static. Like, if you could just remove this, you know, um, <laughs> this from the audio, then you'd be saving yourself. Because, <laughs> so going to 16-bit is just fine, basically, is what I was able to do scientifically, you know, assuming that these files were originally 24-bit, as the website claims, you know, it was a website owned by a publisher. Yeah, that's a publishing company. And basically, I can't even remember what website I actually went to, but I know I was actually sent there by Sony.net. So if you go to Sony's website and then you go to their music category, they have a bunch of different options, you know, like uh, Universal Music Group and stuff like that. And there's some in there that's, that claim that they do the high resolution audio. So I did the high resolution audio tests. I already boiled those files down and everything, found out that there is indeed a difference between the sampling frequencies. So, you know, uh, the audio, there's an audible difference between those. But from 16 bit depth to 24 bit depth and 24 bit depth down to 16 bit depth, you're not really missing anything if you go up, you're just adding more weight to the file. If you go down, you're not losing any audio quality. You're just losing static. And it's not even really high, you know, it's not high frequency static. The static isn't way up there in frequency like a lot of people are thinking. This is really an audible frequency range. It's really, uh, it's really not that great. So here we have... You can tell my computer is doing this now. And I'm going to play the sound for you through the microphones. Yeah, that's it. That's what you get. That's what you get. You get static. It's just static. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just static. That's what you're losing. Uh, when you just change from 16 bits or uh, from 24 bit to 16 bit, you're not missing anything. I did the test. I failed. 
I, I failed miserably, oh my goodness. Uh, I actually decided, you know, I would try it out with the foobar thing. Uh, knowing the difference already, walking in, knowing that difference, and uh, 13 out of 30, because I was feeling really confident. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be able to tell the difference. You just, it, it's physically inaudible. Legitimately, no. You're not going to be able to tell. Um, so, 16 versus 24-bit uh, depth audio. I'd say save your hard drive space, save your space on your computer and all that stuff. You don't need 24-bit audio. High resolution makes a difference. I was able to tell the difference between high resolution and low resolution. I'm going to try that again in the next video. But uh, bit depths, no difference. Not a single difference. You're never going to be able to tell the difference. Uh, if you can, then you are a living, breathing human oscilloscope. Incredible hearing. Well beyond the normal range. I don't even think the best synesthetes would be able to tell the difference, you know. Uh, so, legitimately, I don't, I don't think it would ever happen. All right. Well, that's all I have to say about that. Let's uh, just try to forget this terrible test. And remember...